The Army Contracting Command welcomed a new battalion to its organization with an activation and assumption of command ceremony September 12th at Rock Island Arsenal, Illinois. The new unit is the 920th Contingency Contracting Battalion of the Army Contracting Command, Rock Island. Its first commander is Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Eckmeyer. First, the activation. We will now uncase the colors and activate the 920th Contingency Contracting Battalion. And then, the passing of the unit colors, which is a time-honored tradition dating back to the 18th century. General Theodore Harrison passes the colors to the Executive Director of Army Contract Command, Rock Island, Ms. Melvin Johnson, who then passes it to the incoming commander, Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Eggmeyer, charging him with responsibility and authority as a commander. The 920th Contingency Contracting Battalion will conduct its daily contracting missions and on orders be ready to support contingency, humanitarian, and disaster relief contracting planning and operations. Since February, ACC has activated four other contingency contracting battalions elsewhere. ACC provides contracting support to the Army and Department of Defense. The command accounts for about 70% of the Army's contract dollars and one of every six federal contract dollars. You know, typically when a new commander takes possession of the unit's colors, he steps into a unit history along with an established team and also an SOPs and an established training regimen. In the case of the 920th, those elements do not yet exist, and the unit history has not yet been written. The initial cadre of the 920th will write the first chapters of the unit's history. As I close, I'd like to remind all of us that what we do in Army Contracting Command and in the Army has real and lasting impact for the brave men and women that are deployed around the world. I thank you for the sacrifices you've made to support those heroes and their families and the incredible effort that you make to keep our country safe. This is not a new mission for the center, but one that has grown within the last several years and was officially recognized and activated here today. As Major General Harrison expressed, the 920th mission is strategically important to today's Army and the Department of Defense. To the employees of the Army Contracting Command, Rock Island, thank you for your embracing, integrating, and training our military contracting workforce. The depth and breadth of contracting knowledge within this contracting center is vast. I will strive to ensure our officers and NCOs understand and ultimately leverage the unique opportunity they've been given to learn from some of the nation's best contracting personnel and professionals. The skills they gain will not only execute workload here at Rock Island, but also will prepare them for the upcoming challenges they will face as we ready to deploy and provide effective, timely, and efficient contracting support wherever and whenever our nation calls. Eckmeyer's wife, Annette, was presented a bouquet of yellow roses signifying the new relationship with a battalion that will grow in time. Following the ceremony, the Eckmeyers received congratulations from unit members and others. For the Army Contracting Command Public Affairs Office at Rock Island Arsenal, I'm John Michael Connor.